Welcome to Mail Cert Minutes, I'm Nick. Today we're going to be discussing less the rifle in front of you and more of a concept that underlies it. And that's the idea of when you're buying mill serps, you buy the rifle and not the story, unless you have evidence of that story. What I mean by that is when you're in this world of buying mill serps, you may frequently find sellers who claim that a military rifle is a bringback or captured or taken as a war trophy. And a lot of times you, you'll hear a guy say, oh, I got this brought back SKS from Vietnam. And you look at it, and it's a Type 56 that was imported by Norinco in the 80s. And he'll try to sell it to you, or my, in, or yeah, he'll try to sell it to you for bring back prices. And the point behind this is you don't want to buy this stuff unless they have actual documentation. Now, sometimes you might have rifles that really can tell you quite a story, even if it doesn't have documentation. But if you don't have the documentation, you really have no proof of anything. That's one of the reasons why I have this rifle in front of me. I bought this Moss 36 here that's in fairly rough condition because it was really cheap and not because of the story that I've extrapolated from it. And I'll get into it in a minute, but I believe that this is a bring back rifle, but I'll never be able to prove it because I'll never find the paperwork for it. But I'll bring you over here and I'll talk you over it and tell you what I think the story behind this rifle is. So what we have here is a Moss 36 that I believe was taken by the French or left or initially was deployed by the French into Vietnam or French Indochina in the late 1940s or early 1950s and fought in the first Indochina war. Reason I believe that this wasn't say something brought back just post World War II is for one, this is a, I believe from the serial number or the prefix, I determined this to be a 1948 or 1949 made rifle. You can also see that it has the later style of stamped front sight assembly and nose piece or nose cap but the things that I believe kind of give it away is when you get handling rifles that have definitely been in a jungle you'll see rust and pitting like this the wood isn't look doesn't look too bad it's kind of washed out but this pitting is very visible on other guns that have definitely been in a jungle and I'll show you my M1s in a later video that I just got from the Philippines um, and then you have this sling, which I think plays into it. So what I believe is this was taken by the French into Vietnam, used by the French, and either a French soldier who was carrying it got killed by, the, by, by a Vietnamese soldier and taken, this rifle was taken off of him, or this rifle was just left when the French left in 1954. This then was used to arm either Viet Cong or North Vietnamese forces that was then used against American troops during the Vietnam War and was then either taken off of a, North Viet a dead North Vietnamese soldier or a captured North Vietnamese soldier or just found in a weapons cache and brought back by an American. Which, another reason why is because it has a pretty close to mint first pattern, what's referred to as a seatbelt sling, as I discussed in the M16 videos. Um, on it. Like, this isn't much nicer than the one that I even have on my M16, which was in okay condition. So I think what a GI did was he went, picked this up out of the jungle, went back to the base, threw a sling on it, and shipped it home. And that was that. And maybe there was paperwork issued with it originally, but there's no longer any paperwork with it. But I kind of go in a roundabout way to say, I'll never be able to verify that because... <laughs> This rifle has no paperwork. All I can do is extrapolate what I think is true. So if I ever do sell it, I'll say, I think it might have gone to Vietnam, but it's priced like an okay condition, Moss 36. Um, but thanks for watching. That's my overview of this rifle that I think might be a bring back or a trophy of war. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and, sub like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.